Dear students, welcome to my video class. Today we will discuss on authoritarian teaching style and democratic teaching style. But before discussing about these two teaching styles, let's start with a question. What is a teaching style? A teaching style refers to a set of teaching tactics or instructional format that is being used by a teacher in the classroom. A teacher's teaching style influences the learning of the students. That means the kind of learning outcome in a classroom is being decided by the kind of teaching style being used by the teacher. There are generally three types of teaching style. Authoritarian teaching style, permissive teaching style, and democratic teaching style. Here, in this discussion, we'll focus basically on uh, authoritarian teaching style and democratic teaching style. Dear students, now we'll discuss about the authoritarian teaching style. In authoritarian teaching style, the teacher exercises a firm centralized control, a control over the student's behavior, a control over the student's activities. Here in authoritarian teaching style, the teacher directs every action of the students. The students are not allowed to do anything as per their own choice or as for their own interest. Whatever they have to do, they have to do as per the instruction, as per the direction of the teacher only. The teaching style assumes the teacher as the active agent and the students as the passive listeners. Authoritarian teaching style always gives more priority to the teacher and less priority to the students. Accordingly, here the teacher occupies the primary place and the students have the secondary place. Authoritarian teaching style is just one way teaching process. This is not a two way teaching process. Why? Because here the teacher is to deliver lectures to the students and the students have to listen to it without having any query or any question. Students, now we'll discuss about the authoritarian teaching style. So here basically we'll discuss four uh, major uh, features of authoritarian teaching style. So the first feature is that it is teacher-centric. As uh, I have already mentioned that uh, in authoritarian teaching style, the teacher is given more priority. They are occupying the primary place and that's why it is teacher-centric instead of student or child-centric. Second feature is that students have less freedom. Yes, why? Because students, they, uh, have to uh, do whatever they are instructed, whatever they are uh, directed by the teacher only. They cannot uh, do anything as per their own choice or interest. Third feature is that fibrous discipline and swift obedience are expected from the students. This particular point indicates that strict discipline is followed in authoritarian teaching style. And the fourth feature is that it gives few praises to the students. That means the students, they hardly get any praise or encouragement from the teacher. Next, we'll discuss about the criticism. So there are a number of grounds to uh, criticize, uh, uh, there are a number of grounds to criticize this authoritarian teaching style. Here we'll discuss uh, three points. The first one is that authoritarian teaching style results in unhealthy competitions, fear, 
and anxiety among the students. Next one is that it has made education system busy and strict. And the third one is that students do not get freedom of expression and critical thinking. So while we criticize uh, this uh, uh, authoritarian teaching style, we find only demerits. And that's why there is another teaching style which is known as democratic teaching style. Dear students, now we'll discuss about the concept of democratic teaching style. So why this particular teaching style is known as democratic? Because it is based on the democratic principles and as per the democratic principles, all the students in this particular teaching style are treated equally and equal opportunities are provided to all the students. Here, the teacher's role is like a friend, philosopher, and guide. Here, the teacher always facilitates the learning of the students. Accordingly, here, in democratic teaching style, the students, they can enjoy a free environment. They are given the liberty to do as per their own choice, to think as per their own choice, as per their own interest. Next, their students will discuss about the features of democratic teaching style. So here again, we'll discuss four major features of democratic teaching style. The first feature is that it is child centric or student centric. Because we have already understood that here in democratic teaching style, instead of the teacher, like authoritarian teaching style, instead of the teacher, here the priority is given to the students, to the children. So this particular teaching style uh, is based on this particular child-centric or student-centric approach. Second feature is that students can exercise freedom in educational environment because here maximum liberty, maximum freedom is provided to the students. Then the fourth feature is that instead of vigorous discipline, self-discipline is expected from the students. Discipline is very important, but instead of strict kind of discipline, here self-discipline is exercised by the students and that is also possible because of the free environment or liberty that is provided to the students. And the fourth feature is that students are encouraged and praised for their achievement. So, this is another important feature of democratic teaching style. Now, dear students, we'll discuss about the criticism part of this democratic teaching style. So while we criticize this democratic teaching style, we find a number of merits. And because of these merits, the modern education system is also following this democratic teaching style. The first point regarding criticism is that in democratic teaching style, the students can learn more effectively. Second point is that learning of the students lasts forever because here they can learn as per their own choice, as per their own interest. Their interest and choice are given priority here while learning. And that is the reason why learning of the students lasts forever. The students develop self-reliance and socially competent behavior because as because the students they get uh, uh, the liberty, the free environment, and that's why they're uh, getting more scope to interact with others, with other students or the teacher, which helps in developing 
self-reliance as well as socially competent behavior. And the fourth point regarding criticism is that the students get maximum freedom of expression and critical thinking. So dear students, I hope uh, in this class you are able to understand about the concept, features, and criticism part of both this teaching style. So now I am ending my class here. Thank you.